Our first rare is Ryudamon, and our second rare is... <gasps> Ah, oh, you guys thought I was going to scream again, didn't you? Nope. <laughs> I got you again. Welcome back, everyone. My name is Steven. I'm your true champion, and I am just so happy right now. BT8 is finally releasing here in the US, and I was not only able to participate in my first ever pre-release for the Digimon TCG, I was able to win that pre-release, and I earned this booster box of New Awakening as a prize. So in this video, we're going to open this up and see what's inside. If you guys are excited for this video and excited for BT8 to finally be in our hands so we can start building decks with these cool new cards, be sure to let me know by smashing that like button, subscribing to the channel, and uh, clicking that bell for notifications so you know my videos go live for you. But with all that being said, I don't want to delay this any longer. Let's open up this box and see what we pull. All right, y'all, here we are at the tabletop setup. I have the booster box of New Awakening in front of me, and this set does something really cool uh, where it does a really good job of introducing new mechanics, introducing new archetypes, and like truly fleshing them out while also giving them the room to improve as new sets come out later on. Don't be surprised if some of the cards that come out in this set actually become some of the best cards in later formats. But we're not here to talk about the future. We're here to talk about New Awakening and the cards in this set. If y'all are excited, be sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and if you ever want to see me using these cards that I'm about to pull live and in person, be sure to follow me over on Twitch. Link is down below as always. But with that said, before we crack this open, let's do the patented Steven psychic read of what our box topper is going to be. Now in BT8, they went back to the classic, you know, uh, alternate art tamers box topper. And the one I want the most is the Cody Tamer, believe it or not, because I'm a huge fan of yellow hybrid in this format, thanks to some of the cards in this set. And that is a really strong tamer for that deck. So let's crack it open and see what we get. Ooh, clean. Nothing like cracking open a booster box with a knife. Let's go ahead and see. These boxes feel bigger than ones of the past, I think. Moment of truth. Three, two, one. Oh, <gasps> whoa. I, I kind of got a flash there, but we got a TK Takaishi, the new blue tamer that came out in set eight. You know what? The reason why I'm happy to pull this one is because they did him the disservice of making him an uncommon in the set, but haha, -ha, I have a foil version right here like he deserves to be. Uh, this is my favorite incarnation of TK from the anime, so I'm happy to add it to the collection. Also, I did not realize that this was a box topper promo. I thought you got these for participating in the pre-release, but we have Arrow Vidramon Zero, and if you open this up, uh, there is also All Force Vidramon Zero, which sort of have more synergies with the, I think, Vidramon Zero uh, that came out like as the box topper for the original set 1.0. So, hey, glad we finally got these cards, I guess. But on to the actual meat and potatoes of this opening. I believe it is 24 glorious booster packs of New Awakening. As always, we start with the left side. Let's see what we can get. Now, in a lot of recent openings, I've had some really early pack luck. So let's see if that continues as we go through our first cards here. Starting off, we have Pistmon. We have Frozomon, <laughs> which is an awesome looking card. We have Yellow Candlemon. We have, I'm gonna butcher this, Betel Gammon, maybe like Beta. Gammon, I don't even know. Uh, Dreamojimon, a one cost evolution, 5,000 DP, pretty good in the pre-release. We have Kiyukimon, uh, we have Anjumon. As you guys can tell, there's a lot of dual color Digimon in this set, proper dual color Digimon in this set, which is pretty cool. Uh, we have Pandemonium Flame. Everyone tells me to keep playing Mal Malamidosmon. I don't know why, the deck is actually garbage. <laughs> I'm sorry, Malo players. Uh, we have Gooimon, the new red Digi-Egg. We have Kari Kamiya, this is what I'm talking about. They disgraced the O2 glow ups by giving them uncommon rarities i'm happy we finally have memory tamers at not a rare rarity i'm just sad that it's kari and tk our first rare is hero uh, manokawa just like the bt9 box opening i have no idea how to say these children's names but our second rare is yuji musia lots of tamers in a row we have some x antibody support and we have some more red generic and gamma mon support i am here to see it i'm here to see it i love to see it <laughs> 
Moving on to our next pack, we are starting off with a Mushroom Mon. We've got Ginryumon, we have Alekmon, we have Snow Agumon, we have Top Gun, another really good pre release card I learned. Uh, we have Ankylomon, an easier to play yellow Digimon, which is pretty cool. We have Hookmon, another dual color. We have. I'm, I'm not even gonna try. <laughs> we have Bibimon Green, some more green support. We have Dino Human, the pre evolution to Cybergermon I learned recently. Uh, we have Flame Hellscythe absolute mvp in the pre-release and will be an mvp for mastamon decks and our second rare is shivamon what i tell you guys in the first two packs on the true champion steven channel you're almost guaranteed to get a hit even though shivamon probably won't be the strongest or most played deck in the bt8 format i think the utility he provides for green players later on will be super useful because you never know when a broken option card deck is going to come out and having an instant answer is always a good thing we've got senbon dokan <laughs> we have exermon we have psychemon we have kokuamon we have surfimon we have ikakimon we have master tyranamon for all the tyranamon fans out there we have submarimon we have black gatomon pretty fun card actually we have namekamon we have digmon the drill of knowledge as our first rare and our second rare is another flame hell scythe uh for anyone wondering the pre-release that i won i had three of these in my deck and so pulling two back to back i'm just destined to own this card i guess oh baby we're starting off the next one with armor texture aka mask change for digimon for all the Yu-Gi-Oh fans out there we've got red godzimon dreamojimon senbon dokan that's so fun to say soulmon frozomon Pulsemon Green, Cherubimon, I love Cherubimon as a deck from set 7, having more cards to make it better in set 8 is super nice to see. We have Demi Devimon for like purple shenanigans, we have Crimson Blaze, one of the strongest option cards in this set bar none. We have Sylphimon, a card I have not seen yet, when Digivolving, minus 5000, then when DNA Digivolving, delete one with 5000 DP or less, actually a pretty cool effect. And then our second rare is Imperial Dramon Fighter Mode. It's no surprise to anyone that Blue-Green Imperial will be one of the decks to beat in the BT8 meta, and this card is a super awesome removal piece for that deck while also being a pseudo finisher at the same time. Man, these packs are just being torn open right now. We got Enkylomon, Mist Memory Boost, one of my favorite purple cards in the set. We have Candlemon, Captain Hookmon, basic name, cool looking artwork. We have Exermon, Top Gun, Thundermon, basically another Mamamon. We have Demi Merimon, a new one from BT8. I always thought this was, this was a reprint of the old one, but no, it is a different effect, which is very funny. Innocence Blizzard, Marsmon. Our first rare is Yuji, and our second rare is Rapidmon? back to back to back srs rapidmon is far in a way my favorite card from bt8 i cannot wait to jam it in every deck i possibly can up next we've got skull sadamon ultimate brachiomon <laughs> really domineering artwork uh we have lightning blade elecmon anjamon mushroommon catch mamamon one of the most adorable little boys we got shurimon we have the vmon searcher for dual color digimon that include blue as a color we have ki Kyokyomon, <laughs> we have Davis and Ken Rare, really awesome dual tamer for blue and green decks. And Malo Myotismon is our second rare. What did I tell you guys? The early packs just don't stop. Look, even though I'm not a fan of Malamedosmon, I know a lot of people were excited to see more support for this archetype, and who knows, if we get more in the future, maybe it'll be an actually super strong deck because the support is pretty good. It's just the effects that are terrible. <laughs> Oh, starting off, we have Betsumon, one of the ugliest cards I've ever seen. Uh, we have Skull Marimon, Fangmon, Ginryumon, Betelgamamon, Karatimon. We've got Snow Agumon. We have Cyclonemon. We have Rasenmon Fury Mode. Rasenmon was almost a deck that I built in set seven, and I might actually revisit it now that we have this card. Terriermon, the new Terriermon from BT8. Our first rare is Willis. Look at this. The two boys. Love to see it. And our second rare is... Chimeramon. Guys, I am not joking with you. That is literally five of, I believe, our six SRs in a row. And talk about an amazing hit on top of that. 
I have not really been keeping it a secret how strong I think Chimeramon is. I mean, this card is the reason things like Savior Huckmon and Aizmon got limited in this format. Like y'all, we still have five packs left in the first 12 and we've seen over 80% of our pulls. So <laughs> this is gonna get real boring real quick or it's gonna just continue to be exciting because I'll find fun things to say. Starting off, we got Fire Rocket, Greymon, Patamon, Kyukimon, Spinomon, Hookmon, Hisaryumon, one of the great facilitators for the X Antibody Alphamon or Yumon combo. We have TK Takaishi, the lame uncommon one. We have the shiny one over there. We got Huck, Hawkmon, not Huckmon, Skull Knightmon, Cavalier Mode. We have Azulongmon rare, and our second rare is. You all thought I was gonna scream, didn't you? Nope, I got you. It is the alternate art, Huckmon. Uh, I said to stop the back to back to back to back to back to back pulls, but I guess uh, my box said no. I really love the alternate art sort of theme for the rookies in this set. Basically, it's how many cute Digimon can we throw on a single artwork? And uh, this one is no exception. Will we get our sixth SR in our, what, seventh or eighth pack? Let's find out. Aquilamon, Disaster Blaster, Scorpiomon, Pistmon, Surfimon, Kokuamon, Psychemon, Plasma Shot, really good in future Magnamon decks probably. We have Freemon, Kogamon, our first rare is another Azulong, and our second rare is Boncho Mamamon. Finally, two regular rares. Never thought I'd be happy to see that. Second to last pack of the first half, we have Master Tyrannomon, Armor Texture, Ikakimon, Angemon, Top Gun, Skull Satamon, Scorpiomon, I'm not even gonna bother, Hiarimon, Armadillomon, Gammamon, and another Davis and Ken. One more and I think I'll have all that I need. I lied, we still have one more pack after this one in the first half, it's just so many Hot hits, I lost track. Oh, we got Spinomon, Candlemon, Thundermon, Hookmon, Kyukimon, Fangmon, Catch Mamemon, Namekamon, Rasenmon Fury Mode, Skull Knightmon Cavalier Mode, Agumon, the black one, and Flangermon is our second rare. All right, last pack of the first half of one of the craziest box openings I've ever done. Let's see how it ends. Ultimate Brachiomon, Elecmon, Dromojamon, Patamon, Karatimon, Gazimon, Disaster Blaster, Vimon, Demimaramon, Cyclonemon. Our first rare is Cody. Yes, there's the boy. And our second rare is Willis, another boy. All right, here's a recap in case you need one for the first half of this new Awakening booster box. We have five different SRs and one alternate art. I believe all that's left in these 12 packs is an alternate art or a potential secret rare and one more super rare. Uh, let's see what we get. First pack, we have another Betsumon, we have another Captain Hookmon, Ultimate Brachiomon, Disaster Blaster, Frozomon, Ginryumon, Fangmon, Plasma Shot, Freemon, Kogamon. Our first rare is Agumon, and our second rare is another Flamedramon. Is that a pattern I see? I think so. We've got Pulsemon, Hookmon, Mushroommon, Catchmamon, and Kylo, Master Tyranno, Ikaki. I'm not gonna bother, Yarimon, Armadillomon. Our first rare is Ryudamon, and our second rare is... Ah, <gasps> oh, you guys thought I was gonna scream again, didn't you? Nope, <laughs> I got you again. Puriel Dramon Paladin Mode is our secret rare. Those are the two big hits of our box, Hawkmon and Paladin Mode. Now, I know I sort of like gave this card a bad rating in the review for all the cards in set eight, but I gotta say, seeing it in person, it is truly, truly gorgeous. And hey, world wipes are always gonna be good. Let's go ahead, put this boy in a sleeve, and then go hunting through these 10 packs for our last remaining SR. We've got Psychomon, Armor Texture, Surfimon, Kokuamon, Fangmon, Skullmaramon, Hisaryumon, Namekamon, Rasenmon Fury Mode, Skull Knightmon, Cavalier Mode, Halsamon, and Boncho Mamamon. We've got Lightning Blade, Betsumon, Karatimon, Fire Rocket, Scorpiomon, Candlemon, Anjamon, Vimon, Demimaramon, Cyclonemon, Willis is our first rare, and Giga Death is our second rare. I'm more a fan of Mega Death, but hey, Giga Death is always cool. We've got Gammamon, Big Boy, Soulmon, Exermon, Top Gun, Hookmon, Ginryumon, Aquilamon, Demidevamon, <sighs> Freemon, 
Gamma Mon's our first rare, and Dark Gaia Force is our second rare. Let's go. Anything with Black War Greymon, I'm always happy. We've got Pulse Mon, Skull Sadamon, Greymon, Spinomon. We've got Captain Hookmon, Catch Me Mon, Ultimate Brachiomon, Pandemonium Flame, Carrier Mon, TK Takaishi, Halsamon, and Zhu Chaomon is our final SR. And what an SR to end on. Talk about your power. One of's being able to say, hey, this Digimon and only one of your cool dudes is going to stay in play after this moment. And if I still have a turn, this is going to be a big bomb of damage. So there you guys go. That's our last SR, but we still have six packs to go. And you guys know me when I want to end a box opening quick, we do a mass pack opening. This is six different packs of Digimon cards all clumped together. Let's see what we get. Maybe we'll find a factory mistake in these cards. The first rare we see is Digimon Emperor. That's a new one. And Black War Greymon, we have a seventh SR. I'm going to be honest, y'all. It's been a while since I've opened a Digimon booster box, and I was pretty sure we didn't have any hits left, but I guess I'm wrong, and you all have been telling me in the comments that I've been wrong this entire time. Oh, man. If this truly is our last SR, I am so, so happy. Everyone knows Black War Greymon is my favorite Digimon, and I love this card card in bt8 and cannot wait to play it in real life <laughs> that's actually funny that i was actually wrong about how many srs we had left well good thing we're doing this otherwise i would have totally missed it Miss memory boost spinomon captain hookmon skull marimon soulmon catch me mamon disaster blaster hawkmon hiarimon armadillo our third davis and ken love seeing that and elydramon not a raidramon elydramon Aquilamon, Fang, Pulse, Gray, Scorpio, Ultimate, Thunder, Kyokyo, Samaria, uh, Cherubi, our first Yoli, and another Azulongmon, really cool card. We got Fire Rocket, Karatimon, Gazimon, Betsumon, uh, Skulseta, Hisaryu, Pada, Mars, Dino Hue, Shuri, Myotismon Rares, our first one, and another Yuji. Is that four Yuji? That's pretty awesome. Uh, Kokuamon, Psychamon, Surfimon, Armor Texture, Itakimon, Master Tyranno, Lightning Blade, Plasma Shot, Kogamon, Gurimon, Froz, Velgramon, is that how you say that? And then Climbmon. We're getting all the new rares towards the end. Love to see it. Alekmon, Frozo, Mistmem, Dramoji, Kyuki, Senbon Dokon, <laughs> Patamon, Innocence Blizzard, Black Gatomon, Crimson Blade, our second to last rare is Digimon Emperor, and the last card of our old of our new Awakening booster box is a Flame Hellscythe. The card that earned me this box is the card we end on. So, in case you're wondering, as always, this is the number of rares you can expect in a Digimon booster box. Apparently, you can expect to see seven <laughs> SRs. I truly forgot how many you should get. And then, of course, one secret slash potentially one alternate art or secret. And boom, there you guys go. That wraps up this box opening for New Awakening, the newest booster set in the Digimon TCG. If y'all enjoyed, be sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and uh, click that bell for notifications so you know when my videos go live for you. Also, if you ever want to see me using the cards I used in this box or any of the other Digimon decks that I have live and in person, be sure to follow me over on Twitch. Link is down below, as always, at twitch.tv forward slash true champion Steven. But anyways, y'all, thank you so much for watching. I have been your true champion, Steven. Please be sure to work hard, rest easy, and live well. And I will see you all next time. Peace.